We're here at General Atomics and talking to Ralph Ziesing, who's the Vice President of Maritime Systems for General Atomics. One of the interesting aspects of aircraft carrier aviation to these days is the emergence of the electronic magnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS, uh, which is being installed, already installed on the uh, USS Gerald R. Ford carrier and the entire class. Uh, this is this EMAL system is sort of the wave of the future, getting away from steam-powered catapults that have been around for well over half a century. Uh, one of the primary uh, foreign designs that, that isn't going to incorporate this new technology is France, where the new Portavion Nouvelle Generation, PANG or uh, PANG, uh, the, the French government has already announced that their intention to install that. It will be a General Atomics product, I believe. Um, what, what can you tell us about the program and where does it stand today? Yeah, well, good morning, Christopher. Uh, it's happy to be here with you. Um, we've we're, uh, got a lot of exciting things going on at General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems. Uh, I'll just give you an overview of where we are uh, on the Ford class and, and the French program. Uh, the CVN-78 uh, had a busy year. Uh, it completed the full ship shock trials and our equipment uh, came out of it very well. Uh, the ship went into the planned incremental availability at Newport News and is now out of that and uh, completing certification uh, and is joining the fleet soon. Uh, and we anticipate uh, the ship will uh, deploy uh, later this fall. So very excited to see uh, our hardware on that ship and things are working well. Uh, CVN-79, the John F. Kennedy is coming along nicely. Uh, the systems are starting to get groomed and energized. Uh, so we're seeing some good progress there. And then CVN-80, the keel lane, was uh, just recently, so very excited to see that. Uh, we're also uh, in negotiations for CVN-81, pre-production planning, and so that's the four ship set of equipment uh, that we'll be delivering. Uh, regarding the French program, uh, that's the French Future Carrier Program, or PANG. Uh, we've been working uh, through the U.S. Navy in support of the French government's uh, technology selection, which we're very excited that they have uh, announced the uh, EMALS and AAG technology. Um, so right now we're just uh, working with uh, our partners uh, along with uh, US Navy, the French Navy, the DGA, Naval Group, uh, CDA. Uh, very, uh, very proud to be part of that great team uh, to bring this technology forward into the future French carrier. Sure, and, and, and as a matter of fact, it's not just the French who are looking at EMALS, but apparently even the Chinese and the new Type 003 aircraft carrier uh, under construction now apparently is going to, is, is going to use an email system. Well, that, that's what I read in the news. <laughs> yeah. so, it, is, it is the technology of the future, and I think there's uh, a lot of interest now in the technology. Uh, the Ford emails really is a success, uh, and, and so um, I just think it's a matter of time before uh, we see this technology in other applications. So prob probably be, be seeing no more steam catapults. So those are the days. That, those, those days are probably gone. Right, right here though. This is a model of the John F. Kennedy. But what this, what's special about this model is it features the electronic, uh, the magnetic launch system, EMALS, and the um, arresting gear. That's also a feature of both of the, the all, all the Ford class. And this is what's what would probably be installed, more likely than not, in the new Pang. Could you just tell us what we're looking at here? Well, uh, the EMALS is, is a linear induction motor that replaces steam, and the real uh, uh, key feature of EMALS is its versatility. Uh, it's a computer programmable launch system, so uh, the Navy's uh, able to adapt smaller, lighter, or heavier planes in the future. So the, the system is capable of handling future airframes, uh, and uh, that's a key feature of, of the ability to program the launch rate uh, through the motor system. But the impact on the ship, the ship's design is a whole lot less. You don't have these steam accumulators take up an awful lot of space. You don't have, what what you have is an electromagnetic system, but the impact is fairly small. This is one, one of the, there are four catapults on the carrier. There's two forward. This is one of the forward catapults. So this is simply, is, is this pretty much the whole catapult installation that's right there? Or does it continue through or what is what happens well, here? This, this is a representation. Uh, it's fair to say that above deck and what the pilots see is the same configuration as what's on the Nimitz class. Uh, because it's electricity, you have uh, more uh, options for plant configuration. It's, it's not fixed around steam piping. So you can place the uh, electrical components in a place that makes more sense and connect them with cables. So there's a lot of uh, versatility with regard to ship's arrangements. 
And it's not just EMOLs, it's also the advanced arresting gear, AAG. There are, on, on this ship, there are, there are three arresting wires. I'm not sure how many the Pang will have, but uh, this, is, this is a new, this has also been a new system. It's tried out of the floor. Yeah, that's correct. The advanced arresting gear uh, is another computer controlled system, uh, unlike the uh, legacy system, which is a, a single wire on a hydraulic system. Uh, this has various components that provide for computer controlled arrestment of the aircraft. So once again, uh, with the computer control, uh, you're able to program the system to arrest lighter weight planes or heavier planes. Uh, so the system has, has that versatility to deal with air wings of the future. There's a lot of adjustments as the aircraft come in, different weights, different speeds, you want to adjust everything, the, the tension on the lines, all that for each aircraft that comes in. Uh, yeah, there are different settings, but pretty much uh, when, when the, the plane lands and hooks, uh, the system takes over that arrestment and in a matter of seconds uh, brings the, the plane to a safe controlled stop. All right. Well, sir, thank you very much. been talking to Ralph Ziesling of General Atomics Marine yes, Systems. Have a, have a great day.